When was the last time that you saw something new on a tripod? You see, this new Benro Bat range has a feature that I've not seen anywhere before, and yet it's so obvious, I don't know why a manufacturer just hasn't done it before. First up, let's address the fact that I have a tiny tripod. I asked Ben Rowe for the smallest one in the Bat tripod range, as I have a very specific scenario that I wanted to use it for. Obviously, there are larger versions available in both aluminium and carbon fiber, and I'll put all of the details of those in the description below. Secondly, I won't waste any of your time. The secret trick is that the legs can actually fold up and they can be locked in two positions. It's so simple and obvious. Why has nobody done this before? So what are your first thoughts? What are you thinking? When I first heard about this, I immediately started to think of situations where this could be useful. And let's be honest, I can only come up with a few, but it left me curious enough to get one, this one, in for review. One of my first thoughts was that I could use it as a makeshift support when shooting video, particularly this mini version of the series. Often when I'm out shooting video, I'll kind of hold on to two tripod legs like this and then have the camera there, obviously and it adds a bit of stabilization from two points from my hands when I'm taking moving shots or just walking around. Now, with the Benro bat legs being able to fold up, I can kind of then push it against my chest maybe and add another couple of contact points. It's not pretty, it's certainly not professional, but when you combine that kind of support with in-camera stabilization, it can work quite well. Now, the main reason that I was drawn to these upright leg positions was I often shoot a lot of long exposures of waterfalls and cascades, and I wanna get down really low and close to the water, hence the small tripod. Now, I often try and find a secure footing by extending tripod legs fully, and that means I have to put them in water, or I have to compromise on the composition to make sure that the feet are nice and secure on some rock or in some ground. But the Benro Bat Mini, it gives me some alternatives because of these upright legs. I could rest the tripod leg on a rock, and obviously, I can get more contact because I've got you know, a larger area here than just having a small foot on a wet, slippery rock. Now, obviously this is a tiny tabletop tripod, so it's also useful when I'm shooting videos to camera, such as this, useful for product photography, and it's also useful if I wanted to shoot wildlife. I can attach the foot of a telephoto lens on here and get very close down to the ground if I'm lying down trying to photograph something. But yet, despite its size, it's got all the features of tripods higher up in the range. First up, we've got fully carbon fiber legs here, and we've got a metal spider holding all these legs in position. Now, the legs lock in five positions, including the two upright ones, and the locking mechanism is really secure. There's actually two pins in the leg that are attached to this large, easy to find button, and they then go into these corresponding holes for each position. It's all very straightforward to use. Now the leg locks are twist release, which some people like, some people don't, but they're really large and chunky. And especially with this small tripod, it means you can unlock in one twist and you can just about lock it up with a twist too. Now the feet unscrew at the end here and you can replace them with spikes when you're on less than solid ground. And as usual, we've got a hook just below the center there so you can add some additional weight and hang your camera bag or something to keep everything nicely weighed down. Now the Bat series has a sprung 3 8 thread just on the top of the spider, and when you push the side down, it reveals that quarter inch thread, so you can mount a variety of different heads or even a camera directly via that quarter inch thread. Finally, there's not one, but there's three different accessory mounting points on the side there, so you can add via a quarter inch screw an arm, and, and then you can mount a monitor, a light, a microphone, USB battery, or even another camera, anything else you might want while you're out shooting. Now onto the head, this is the VX20, really impressed with this. It's a pretty basic panning ball head to be perfectly honest, but the quick release is Arca Swiss compatible and the plates for them have bumpers on either side that prevent the plate and the camera sliding off when it isn't fully clamped. Now the clamp itself is also kind of a double system. So you can do a turn like that just to loosen the plate, but then you have to pull it out and do a twist to get it to unclamp it far enough so you can properly take the clamp off that makes sure that your camera is always safe and secure on here. Now, the mini version of this tripod, no center column, but the larger versions do. And when everything's fully extended, the tallest version has a 181.5 maximum height. And you can also unscrew one of the, the legs on the larger tripods, attach it to the center column, and then you've got a monopod as well. 
So overall, I really like these Benro bat tripods, particularly this little Diddy small one. I really don't want to send it back if I'm perfectly honest. I'd be possibly looking to get one of these in the future myself. What do you guys make of it? Do you like what you've seen here? Do you think the upright leg position is going to be useful? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all the latest photo gear news and reviews.